Hey everyone, we're gonna cook my favorite breakfast. Stewed apples with oatmeal, cooked apples, however you wanna put it. Um, I have everything going already and uh, I'm just gonna show you all the ingredients and make it with you right here. So I already have water going. I fill up this pot maybe with like an inch worth of water and then I get that boiling so it's already ready to go. I'm gonna have the camera here so that you can see from afar everything I got. So I just put my um, my flax in here. So it's ground flax, maybe probably a good tablespoon. Half an apple, just chopped up. I got salt ready. Uh, I have um, shredded coconut, almonds, gluten-free oats, vanilla extract, coconut oil, maple syrup, cardamom and cinnamon that's those are my favorite things in a bowl of hot cereal this is so warming um, it's really satisfying because of the sweetness but it's not overly sugary and it has fat in it so and protein from the oats and the almonds and it just it gives me the most amount of energy out of any other breakfast by far so what I'm going to do is add the apples in. Again, it's like an inch worth of water. I like my oatmeal a little bit on the watery side, so I'll put in more water. So the apples go right in. And I'll let it go for probably anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Also, too, depends on how much you like your apples cooked. <laughs> um, so let's add everything in. So while the apples are cooking, I get like the dry stuff ready to go. And I'm having it in this container to go because I'm going camping today or this weekend. And um, I'm going to uh, take it with me in the car. So I add oats. I like more apples than oats. And these are just like the quick, the quick oats. I always make my breakfast in the same container. <laughs> so I always know just how much it will make. So I would suggest finding your favorite bowl and then make your breakfast in that. And then if you made too much, too little, not watery enough, too watery, um, then you know what you can do next time. So again, I am totally eyeballing it. I think I put a, anywhere between a fourth cup and a half a cup of oats. Shredded coconut. Again, these are like, I kind of go over the top with my breakfast. <laughs> as far as like how many items I put in. But it makes it taste really good. I put a handful of almonds. Um, maybe just... A little bit of vanilla extract. I think it ends up being like half a teaspoon. Good old coconut oil. Anywhere from a teaspoon to a tablespoon. I go pretty heavy on the coconut oil. I think that's what makes this <laughs> I think that's what makes this uh, breakfast last so long as far as the energy that it gives me. Cardamom. Cardamom is um, woo, just a pinch. Um, it's a pretty strong spice. Once I'm done making it, I'll show you. I'm kind of in the way. Cinnamon. I add a lot of cinnamon. Probably about a teaspoon. I like a lot of cinnamon. Can you tell how much of an um, exact measure I am? <laughs> and maple syrup. Maple syrup. Again, this one's going to be your preference. I think I end up doing a good tablespoon, if not a little more. And I'm going to turn the apples up a little bit. 
So what you can do is you can put everything in the apples. You can put all the oats and like cook everything in one. Um, here in Tiny, it's all about keeping as few of dishes dirty as possible. So if I were to put it in here, that means I'm going to transfer it in here. That means I have like syrupy um, food in two containers and versus this is just apple with water and it's a lot easier to clean. So I'm a little bit on the, uh, yeah, it's all about keeping things clean around here. I also forgot salt. This is, I would say, probably about half a teaspoon. I'd say that's the magic ingredient. If you make oats um, from scratch at home, people always forget salt. Think about when you bake cookies or just anything sweet in the oven. You have to add a little bit of salt. It brings out the sugar. So you actually add less sugar when you add salt. And you don't need a lot of salt, but having like something not table salt, like that's the pink Himalayan salt, I have gray Celtic sea salt. Um, those salts are much more flavorful versus like a straight up table salt that you just shake. So I would highly suggest using a really flavorful salt um, and add salt <laughs> to your oatmeal. It makes it taste so good. All right. See you. Now let me turn this one off. So there's everything in there, just waiting. And then what I'll do is I'll just add the apples and then add the water. And then I fill it up with water about three fourths. And that's kind of my happy place. And then I put the lid on and let it um, let it sit for a second. So there's the apples. I don't you don't need to stir them or anything. They just um, you know do their thing. Again, you want to use the water that the apples are cooked in because that's where a lot of the flavor is too. If you were to just take the apples out, you're gonna lose a lot of the flavor of the apples because it got pulled out from the water. All right, let's add the apples. And turn the stove off. I add it right in. Again, using the same bowl, you know exactly <laughs> the amount that you need. And look at that! Clean pot, relatively. Um, you always want to give it just one little stir because the oats sometimes get like suctioned on the bottom and there might be a layer that never gets um, soaked. You can also add chia seeds to this. You'll need more water if you add more chia. Um, and I'm literally just going to let this sit with the lid just loosely on for probably about five minutes and it will have soaked up a bunch of it. The almonds will take some of the water, the chia, and obviously the oats. Um, you can add different types of fruit, you can add dates, you can add other types of nuts. Walnuts are so good in this. Um, like there's something about walnuts and maple syrup together that just tastes so good. Uh, so yeah, go from there. Have fun playing with your stewed apples and oats. And you can also exchange oats for quinoa or millet or, I know it sounds weird, but you can do rice. White rice is really good. Um, play around with what grain um, would work for you. So this is my go-to breakfast. It is so good. I hope that you try it out. All right, everyone, I'll see you later.